Hi, this is Shumi from Overdrive and with me today is uh, this, the new Mahindra Centuro. Uh, when I came here uh, to ride the bike, my first impression was well, updated Pantero, but honestly it's much, much, much better than that, much uh, more important than that. A lot of work has gone into this motorcycle, so if I were to quickly run you through the features, I won't go too much into the styling because, uh, well, styling is a personal thing, you might like it, you may not like it. Personally, I don't like these gold bars, but as Mahindra keep pointing out, it's an identity element that is appreciated in the target customer group for this uh, bike and future bikes will incorporate this as actually as a part of the chassis so it's not going to be like a cosmetic element added on for the sake of it on bigger machines so I don't like it but well uh, people seem to like it so it's fine with me uh, what is impressive about the motorcycle actually is the engine department the handling department ride quality department all has seen significant improvement so we're up in the hills here uh, at uh, near Narendra Nagar this is a place called Ananda and we were heading uphill today downhill today and this engine just doesn't quit it makes a lot of power there's very little vibration uh, if you remember if you've ridden the pantero you would know that the pantero becomes a little rough say about 5000 rpm and up and you know it sort of encourages you to shift up at that point uh, this one doesn't do that uh, eight and a half thousand nine thousand rpm is when it begins to show its anger at the way it's being used uh, target group is not going to do that but i'm honestly surprised at how refined this engine is down below and i think it's a very very usable engine in terms of the gearing and the way the power is made Similarly, the chassis uh, is very sweet. Uh, the ride quality and handling balance is very, very well, uh, well done. Uh, we had to absorb uh, speed breakers today in the middle of the corners. It's very strange. You come on a speed breaker, go into a corner, come out of the speed breaker, there's another speed breaker there. It's very strange. But to the credit of the motorcycle, it didn't lose its line. It didn't get upset. No composure loss was there. You, you went as hard through the corner. It absorbed everything. And I think that kind of ride quality and handling balance in this segment, difficult to achieve, but somehow Mahindra has done it. And I'm super happy with the motorcycle overall. Uh, so overall, uh, the motorcycle is not launched yet. It will be launched on uh, July 1st, I think is the price announcement. But what it tells me is that the Mahindra two-wheeler R&D department is taking big steps forward. From the Stallio to the Pantero, there was already significant improvement. From the Pantero to the Centuro, there is even even more impressive uh, improvement and if this is the way they're continuing then you know forget everything that you know about the mojo from whatever you've read on the websites when they do bring out the new mojo and i think that's coming at the end of this year or a little bit later than that we will be surprised and we will be really happy to ride that motorcycle